No plug. How's everything? Everything is great. You good? Yeah, you, you look real happy right now. Yeah, I'm happy. I always be happy. Okay, so recently there was a, a situation. Uh, there was a shooting, and I remember your name was connected to it, but we didn't really have all the information, so we ended up not reporting it. Mm. So let's talk about the whole situation kind of from beginning to, to where we are right now. Mm. Now, you and Bankroll Fresh were friends since you were kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so explain that. Like explain our friendship? Yeah, like, like when did y'all meet and how close was the friendship? Okay, well, we met like when we was probably like, probably like 10 or 12, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was tight. We always been tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was my boy. That was my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, our friendship always been, always been good. You know what I'm saying? Until, like, a certain level of his career came about. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and what happened at that point? Well, it was just a... It was just a lot going on, you know, we'll, like, if I see him, you know what I'm saying, we'll speak, but I was never, like, with him, like, when he first started rapping, like, got out there, I was not never around, you know what I'm saying, I was always on the block, so when I see him, I speak to him, you know what I'm saying, but I'm not just going to pulling up on him and all that, you know what I'm saying, but when I see him, you know, we kick, you know what I'm saying, we kick shit. Okay, and you're from the Ninth Ward? I'm from Allen Temple, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Ninth Ward, mate, yeah. Okay, so you guys were friends up to a certain point. His career started going a certain type of way, and you guys kind of just drifted your own separate ways? Yeah, 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 some shit like that, yeah. Okay, so I guess late last year in 2015, there was a, a turkey drive, and there was some sort of altercation that happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we just, um, like, my little cuz, you know, skate, he and he, he ain't played no parts and none, you know what I'm saying? He always played both sides, you feel me? He was passing out toys already, or food, whatever they was passing out. So he was in the nine. Fresh, he was already in the temple and already passed out everything, you know what I'm saying? So Skate, he's passing out everything. Then I guess Fresh called him and tell him he finna pull in the nine. You know what I'm saying? So he just pulled in the nine, you know what I'm saying? So we was like, we ain't really fucking with you like that, you feel me? So. We just, he just got escorted out. Like, he didn't get robbed. He didn't, like, I wasn't going to let none of that type shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Because he had, he's still my boy. He was still with my boy, you feel me? But we just, like, we, we just went seeing eye to eye, you feel me? So we just escorted him out the nine. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just rolled out and skate, continued doing what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so so Bankroll Fresh was basically giving out, giving out toys or whatever He was else. giving out toys in Allen Temple. And skate um schoolie, he was giving out toys in the nine. You know what I'm saying? Fresh tried to come to the nine after everything he had done passed out everything, you feel me? To the little kids and shit. Yeah, so we wouldn't okay. we just went no no, you ain't finna just come in our hood and just you know what I'm saying, cause we let him shoot the hot boy video in the nine. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when shit was peaches and cream, you know what I'm saying? He coming every day to the nine. I'm giving him weed to smoke, you feel me? I never it was never no hatred shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Niggas that know me and him, everybody know him, really know me. They know I've been having my way, you feel me? Like, I've been having my way ever since high school. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything always been good, but at a certain point, he just, females he was talking to who I hadn't already ran through, like, he was, it was jealousy, all kind of stuff, bro. Like, I couldn't believe him. Okay, so there was a little altercation that happened in the Ninth Ward. Yeah. Where, where he was he was asked to leave yeah. that area. So from that time to the studio, had, had you guys seen each other at all? Um, no, nah, we didn't see each other. We, that was our first time probably seeing each other at the studio, yeah, that, that night. Okay, so how did you end up in that studio? I was on the way to South Carolina to um, pass out CDs and shit. With, um, with little cuz, he was going, he had a show in um, South Carolina, so I was gonna go tag along with him just to pass my shit out, you know what I'm saying? Just put my shit on the windows and shit, so he told me to meet him up there. So I met him up there, we went in the building and shit like that. Okay, so you go, you go into the studio, mm -hmm. and then what happens? Shit, I go to the studio, I'm, I'm, I'm on FaceTime with one of my hoes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just chilling, and goddamn like five, 
I say five or ten minutes of me being in there, he approached me from behind, you know what I'm saying? First thing he said was like, damn, bro, why you let them put me out the nine? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, that shit old, bro. I don't want to hear about that shit, bro. Just keep on rapping, bro. Just got them done, do your thing, you feel me? So he was just so stuck on that old situation, you know what I'm saying? They said his female friend came straight, told him I was down there. She seen me come in, you know what I'm saying? So they said she told him, relayed the message. He came straight down, approached me with the situation. Okay, so he approached you. He's still upset about the, the Ninth Ward situation. Yeah. What happened next? Well, he was he was talking a lot of shit, and I was like, bro, I ain't trying to hear that shit. So I, I turned around trying to, uh, I was finna leave. He tried to mush me. When he tried to mush me, I just grabbed him, you know what I'm saying? Like, grabbed him, and we tussled, we fell down the steps. And our childhood friend, C-Note, he, he broke the shit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't throw no punches, none of that type shit. Like, it was just a straight, he tried to mush me, I grabbed him, we fall down the steps, the altercation's over with, you feel me? Okay, and then what? I'm, I'm finna leave the studio, actually. I was leaving, because this shit was so fucked up. I was like, bro, you don't fuck up, you don't try me in front of all these folk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit gonna get, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, boom. I'm finna leave, so I leave the studio, but I check my pockets. So I guess when we fell down the steps, I dropped both of my phones inside the studio. So I pulled back up to the studio, you know what I'm saying? I pulled back up to the studio to get the cell phones. When I pulled back up to the studio to get the cell phones, he came back out with like, probably like 10 to 15 niggas, you know what I'm saying? All of them had guns, he had a stick, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, bro. Why the hell do you got a stick for, you know what I'm saying? Like. Come on, I ain't, like, it ain't even that kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? He know I would never, like, just harm him like that. You feel me? Because I know his mama. I ain't even trying to be looking at his mama like, damn, mom, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm glad she just got some information about the situation. You know what I'm saying? She ain't just really cold-hearted against me. You know what I'm saying? Because she know, goddamn, I wouldn't never on no hatred shit. The situation, he caused the situation to happen. You know what I'm saying? He came out with this gun and shit. And shit happened, you know what I'm saying? When he came out playing with the shit, like just playing with the shit, he fired a shot and, and shit happened. We pulled off, we end up, he ended up dead. That simple the shit was, like, the shit was that simple. Like, he pulled the gun, shot the motherfucker, couple shots got fired back, he got hit, I leave. Next thing you know, folks calling me saying, fresh dead, you know what I'm saying? I called my lawyer, Ash Joseph, Gucci man lawyer, give him 10000 go down to the homicide, tell Miss Benton everything, and shit, everything was great. End, end of story. Oh, okay, so you come back to the studio to get your cell phone. Mm. Mm -hmm. He comes out with like 10 or 15 dudes, and he has his gun out. Yeah. So he, he actually point the gun at you, yeah. points the gun at you and shoots at you? Well, I didn't see when he shot, but a hole hit like the door, the back door of the vehicle that I was in. Okay, so he's shooting in your general direction. Yeah. Okay, so at that point you had your gun on you too. Yeah, it was guns around. Okay, and you shot back and he gets hit. Shots was fired and he was hit, yeah. So at that point you, you jumped in your car and drove off? We was in the car. I was already sit I was sitting in the car when he fired the oh. shot. So when he fired the shot, shots was fired back and I left. Okay, so you never even got out the car? No. The second time when he came back out, because when I pulled up, I wasn't intending to get out the car. Cause I was asking a couple niggas who like it was his muscle and they know they know what's going on with, with no plug and nine for it, you know what I'm saying? So they was trying to resolve the situation, you know what I'm saying? But they weren't trying to get no phone. He wasn't trying to get no phone back. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to get my phones back. Like he had dropped, he dropped, he, when we got the tussle, he dropped the pistol, you know what I'm saying? That was picked up, you know what I'm saying? In the scuffle, you know what I'm saying? So he was saying, get him a pistol back so he can get the phone, so I can get my phone back. I was like, it ain't working like that, you know what I'm saying? So shit escalated. Yeah, that was deep. That was, them niggas were hella deep up there. Like, them niggas was hella deep. Them niggas was probably like a hundred deep or some shit. And he's the only one that got hit? Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, now you two, you had mentioned that you two were messing with the same girl? Like, I wasn't really messing with her no more. Like, my big brother was messing with her then at that situation. Like, 
she had not went to on to my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was smashing, but I was smashing, like, every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might see her at the mall, like, shit, what's up? Meet me at the crib. Smash on some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It was his girl. He was, they was living together and shit, you know what I'm saying? She had already told me, like, like, shawty got them. Like, it was crazy shit going on. I couldn't believe that she was telling me, like, how the way he was feeling about me, you feel me? I was like, damn. Like, damn, he like, but I always played it cool, because I, you know what I'm saying? I was one of them niggas that was praying for him to blow up, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the time he was down, like, me, yeah, yo, you know what I'm saying? Re up and flipping, yeah, yo. Like we was, we always been by this nigga side, like ever since. But every nigga he fought with, he fall out with. You know what I'm saying? Like he felt out with street money, yo. He fell out with Quick Trip. You know what I'm saying? And when shit happened, like I had not just seen Quick Trip, he was saying he done made a dick song and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like shit. But when shit happened, niggas start getting in their feelings and shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know how that shit go. So. Between between the altercation that happened in the Ninth Ward and him living with a girl that you used to mess with, you think that that caused the the anger? The, it was it was multiple females that I had and already had situations with that he'll get he'll um, he'll start talking to and you know what I'm saying he'll just be the girl you know it was just it was just a lot of that I know it was the my money situation the female situation and the Ninth Ward situation. Like all them three situations balled up and just made a nigga just go crazy one crazy night. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I can't believe this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit was crazy. Okay, so the, the shooting happened. You drove off. Yeah. You met with your lawyer, and then you turned yourself in. Yeah. Hell yeah. I went from the run from that shit. Shit, I got goddamn. I know goddamn. I was on um, whatever was gonna happen. I know I had. I know I was ready for whatever situation. If I had to take the shit to trial, like my lawyer, he's he's the best lawyer in in goddamn Atlanta, Georgia, man. You know what I'm saying? As Joseph, man, I love him. I love him to death. He made me comfortable with the situation. You know what I'm saying? After I told him the situation, he was like, "Oh, we ain't got nothing to worry about." You know what I'm saying? So I was I was I was low key for like, cause I didn't go see him until like the 19th, the 19th. You know what I'm saying? I think I went to the homicide on like the 20, the 21st of March, some shit like that. The 18th between the 21st of March. You know what I'm saying? Told me it's been the situation. She was like, she seen the whole situation because that shit is on camera. Like everything's on camera. So niggas talking about this and that and that. That's why the police, they seen the shit. They know what's going on. They seen him fire. They seen him get hit. They seen him go down. They seen everything. They seen the niggas deep with guns who weren't doing shit, just pointing shit, like just a whole bunch of pump faking. You know what I'm saying? So really, I feel like the niggas he was with got my got really got him killed. Cause like this, I know we would have got past that situation. Like we was that he we was still gonna be boys. Cause we we go too far. You feel me? Like we go far back, man. Like we got hella pictures. Every picture you see me and him on, you see me looking good, shining stacks. You know what I'm saying? I always had my situation. I was praying, praying for his situation because my situation was already blooming. You know what I'm saying? My, I was already, you feel me? I just started rapping. He was on God. He was the person who came to me last year and told me to start rapping. You know what I'm saying? Because when we was little, we used to do a whole bunch of playing around shit. Ten little niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm a ten little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how we raised, you feel me? Like, the niggas got him killed, like really, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause they could have easily just did the situation, gave me my phone, I would have been gone. You feel me? Like, they was telling him, like, the, the only thing I can hear him saying in his head was like, God damn, damn, though, we don't supposed to be going through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only, like, that's the only thing I can hear him saying right now. Like, I can hear that shit, like, damn, though, we don't supposed to be going through this shit. You know what I'm saying? But he he escalated the situation, and like. Like, niggas can't take back shit, you know what I'm saying? So, the police review the video footage. They get, they get your yeah. testimony. Did, they, did, they, did anyone on, on the other side testify or, or give their statements or anything? Yeah, his, his, um, they say his own manager was like, he caused the situation. Like, his own manager, Ms. Ben told me his own manager said that he caused the situation. And a lot of more folks said the same shit what I just said told her the same exact story. So that's the only reason I didn't get locked up or none of that shit. I didn't even have to go to jail or none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? This shit lasted like, the interview lasted like 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? 
like in an interrogation room. So, so the police filed no charges against you at all? No, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. How, how, did, how did you feel? You know, because you know how, how the court system goes. Sometimes it don't, doesn't matter what really happened. Oh, it was gonna matter in my situation because I have enough money to give the lawyer whatever. See, niggas with no money can't fight shit like that. Like, if I had no money and couldn't give my lawyer 10000 or whatever to walk me down there, she probably would have put a warrant out on my ass for homicide and shit with this because I wasn't gonna turn myself in just without no lawyer, no shit like that. Like, she was gonna have to catch my ass or whatever was gonna have to happen. You know what I'm saying? But. On the money situation made shit better, so I'm like, okay, I know I got ash, boom, boom, I know the situation. I can see if I was just dead in the wrong, you know what I'm saying? The, the video is going to directly show you what the fuck's going on. He approached me twice with a gun. The first time when he came down, when he had the gun before it fell, you know what I'm saying? And the second time when he came out with the stick. So, like, it was going to be... It, no matter how it was gonna be, it was gonna be some self-defense shit unless I left and came back, which I never did, you know what I'm saying? Like, I left and then never returned to the scene, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I would've, he would've did all that shit and shot at, shot at my car and shit, and we was left and came back, you know what I'm saying? If I would've did this type of shit, then I would've got locked up, you know what I'm saying, for some retaliation type shit. But the first time when I pulled off when the shots were fired, he ended up getting hit, you know what I'm saying? They said he got hit off a ricochet bullet, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit hit him, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit was crazy, man. It's like it was just meant, the whole situation, because it was cars lined up where he hiding behind, you know what I'm saying? I'm right here in the, like, right here in the, straight ahead. Like, you straight ahead with me, that's how, but he got a car, like, on the side, you can just, so if I do, if any shots was fired, you could easily just jump back behind the car or some shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, the nigga was, like, 15 deep, everybody like this, you know what I'm saying? When the shots, the shots was fired, no more shots went fired my way. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that I know of, like, none of them didn't hit unless they just, they weren't aiming right, you know what I'm saying? But I think I heard a couple more shots, but shit didn't get hit. Like, when shit just got hit one time, the shot that he fired, you know what I'm saying? And that would relieve the situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, the camera was right there behind his back. He was standing, like, right there. Just say if I turn my back on you, um, on your camera, and I have an assault rifle, and... I shoot it, you know what I'm saying? It's right there. The only thing she said, Miss Ben said she seen the sparks, you know what I'm saying? She said that he shot two times, but I, I ain't really know because I was, you know what I'm saying? He said he shot two times, but she said she seen the sparks, and she said she seen the sparks come back from, from my vehicle, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, like two sparks come this way, two sparks come back, and I pull off, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if all them guys that he had with him, they didn't really do shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Like, them niggas, it was like one against goddamn a million, like, for real. Like, the whole studio, it's just studio. It's just like, if a nigga come in a nine, in my studio in a nine or some shit like that, like, it ain't, shit ain't finna happen like that. Like, all our ass finna be going to jail because the cops finna get switchy, you know what I'm saying? Like, simple as that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like his boys, they, it was like, his boys let him down, bro. And like, and, and they let him down, and then they made him go on with the situation. Cause after we broke the fight up, niggas was still saying, hey man, Fresh, fuck that man. Go ahead and smash that nigga. All that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's when Fresh was like, no oh, man, but though man, we don't even supposed to be going through this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I can fucking hear, you feel me? And niggas talking about hatred and rap career. I never wanted to do this rap shit. Like he was the one person who influenced me to do the rapping and self-made scat, you know what I'm saying? Both of them, they influenced me and press my brothers in the whole hood. They, you know what I'm saying? I'm fly, so niggas want me to rap, you feel? I'm like, man, I ain't really with that rapping shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. So you still live in Atlanta? Yeah, we at my condo right now. In the, um, we at my condo right now in Midtown. Okay. Well, you know, Bankroll Fresh had a lot of people, had a lot of fans. Yeah. You know, also had a lot of other, you know, artists who, you know, respected them and so forth. You know, do you feel now that the situation's over that there might be some retaliation, there might be some, you know, some hurt feelings over, over what happened? Yeah, I feel it's some hurt feelings and uh, retaliations, like, that will just be some more self-defense, some more bodies. Like, like all this shit, a nigga won't be going to jail for this shit because Ms. Ben, like, they already know. Like, I told her, we got the stick, I'm around with the stick every time, like, Nigga play, he gonna die. Like, I ain't even playing like nigga, cause that situation was like, 
that was my brother. You know what I'm saying? So these other niggas trying to get in shit, but they don't know what's going on, bro. Just because that shit happened like that, how it happened. I'm telling you, we ain't playing with niggas like straight up. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like, Miss Ben already know. She told me, watch yourself. And I'm like, okay, as long as you know I'm watching myself, when a nigga do, do something, you know it was another self-defense situation. You know what I'm saying? So, because niggas don't try us, like, period. I mean, have you gotten any, like, you know, threats and so forth? Yeah, I get a hell of threats. I get so many threats, I'm like, Gucci, that shit normal now. Like, it don't got normal. Like, that shit normal. Other folks might see it on my page. Oh, no plug, fuck nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm laughing at that shit. I'm like, bro, y'all, because really it's just little niggas. They don't really know what's going on. And he had hella fans, you know what I'm saying? So I can't fight that situation. They gonna, they gonna, that's why I'm glad this interview, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? The situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was, it, the situation wasn't that bad. We, yeah, we put him out the nine, but it could have gotten way more worse than that. Like, 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 it could have been like the situation where, I was in like he like I came to his studio. It was like him coming to my studio in the nine. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't we didn't want to do him like that. You feel we could have did we could have did anything. Like I didn't want to do him like that, bro. You feel me? I, I ain't want to fuck his career up or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do none of that. Like I wanted him to prevail, do his thing, and I was gonna I'm always gonna do my thing because I get this shit in the street like for real, like street money for real. Like niggas know. Now, now, you mentioned that, that his mother got, got the information about what happened. Uh, have you, have you yeah. talked to his mother at all, or did you get any word? Nah, man, I ain't talked to my own dukes, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, can't, I, don't, I don't feel like I, I can do it right now, you feel me? Because, like, that was her baby, you feel me? Like, that was, that was her baby, you know what I'm saying? I know, even though you know the situation, you still gonna be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? He was on his way, you feel me? He was, he was on his way, and... And the shit just happened, but like I said, you can't stop God's plan, like, cause it wasn't my plan to go up there and do shit. It was my plan to go up there and go out of town and pass my shit out. You know what I'm saying? I was smoking high, leaning and everything. Like, I had my chain, my jewelry, all that shit on. Like, he approached me with the situation. So, like, I could have been dead, so I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna say I wanna take the situation back, but if it could have, if it was a way for us to both keep our lives, you know what I'm saying? I would have liked for that to happen, but you know what I'm saying? Ain't no life switching shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to I wanna keep my shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm living for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's just sad. It's just, yep. you know, you look, at, you look at these situations and you, you think about someone's dead, someone's baby is gone before, you know, especially like as a parent losing a child. It's just like unnatural in the, the way that life works. And you think about, you know, when you talk about the reasons involved in it, it's just, Bullshit. it wasn't that serious. Weak, man, like that shit was weak. Like he was influenced, man, by the wrong people. He had too many peons around. Like I don't have no, like all my niggas, like we really having it, you know what I'm saying? Like he, 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 he recovered all the peons from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like he recovered all the do boys and shit that just gone, Take what you take what you give them and just little niggas like a grown niggas now, but little niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like he recruited all them type guys. So if you would have had any kind of like street money C note, like that's my brother. You know what I'm saying? He the one who broke the fight up like immediately. You know what I'm saying? He was telling these. He was like like he the person who was on Instagram. Like if I would have had three or four more people to help me, the shit wouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? Like he was the only one. You know what I'm saying? Like he was the only one. Like trying to break the shit down. Like, I don't know what niggas thought what was gonna go down. Like, if some shit would've happened to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause shit was gonna get crazy for real. Like, like, but you know what I'm saying? That's how it is, man. I hate he dead, man. Cause I don't even want no nigga think I'm trying to come up off him. Cause I been up. If you go back and look at me all the years, I have been balling since, here we go. You know what I'm saying? I have been balling since back in the days, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I been doing this shit. I always been a happy nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like. I always been living, you know what I'm saying? Passports out of the country type shit, like that's me, you know what I'm saying? Fast cars, foreign type shit, that's me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know me. Street money cream, street money red, street money yo, street money rest in peace, street money strike, you know what I'm saying? All them niggas know me, like they know, oh dope man, that nigga, he a real get money nigga, like they know me, you know what I'm saying? They know I would never want no hating shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, like I said, it's a, it's a sad situation, man. Be, be safe out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you, you getting the story out because, like I said, I had no idea 
what was going on. I, I'd heard your name connected to it, but I didn't have all the information, so I never reported on it. So it's good that you're gonna that you getting the story out. Yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. Atlanta's gonna see this. I'm real for them folks to see this shit. You know what I'm saying? Trap Olympus, August the fifth. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I've been doing this shit like real trapper for real. Like he influenced me to do this rap shit. So it seemed like this shit was just laid on me to do this shit. Like so I'm finna do this shit. So I, I'm thank you for the interview, V lad. You know what I'm saying? To get this shit out there, man. So these folks stop that hating shit. You know what I'm saying? Been having paper, you know what I'm saying? We in my own condo right now, you know what I'm saying? Hellcats, jewelry, no plug chains and everything, you know what I'm saying? 21, 21, 21 shit, you know what I'm saying? PD, 94 shit, you know what I'm saying? That way. Look, I work with them on Mad. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Good guys. Give you the shirt off their back. Is it. Is it ironic? Is, is, is it a coincidence that they both, most of their friends are white and got white wives? They like white women? I, I mean. Then they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house. They girl listening to your music. They go downstairs, the kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. 